Good morning everyone. It's Saturday, December 22nd, 2018, and I hope everyone is having a beautiful day in the Lord. I have a devotion and some scripture for you, but first, as always, I like to say the Our Father, so please join me. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Okay, this is called The Weight of Your Words. And the reading is from Proverbs 16, verses uh, 18 through 33. And it says, Pride goes before destruction, and a haughty spirit before a fall. Better to be of a humble spirit with the lowly, than to divide the spoil with the proud. He who heeds the word wisely will find good, and whoever trusts in the Lord happy is he the wise in heart will be called prudent and sweetness of the lips increases learning understanding is a wellspring of life to him who has it but the correction of fools is folly the heart of the wise teaches his mouth and adds learning to his lips Pleasant words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the bones. There is, all, there is a way that seems right to a man, but its end is the way to death. The person who labors, labors for himself, for his hungry mouth drives him on. An ungodly man digs up evil, and it is on his lips like a burning fire. A perverse man sows strife, and a whisperer separates the best of friends. A violent man entices his neighbor and leads him in a way that is not good. He, he that winks his eye to devise perverse things, he purses his lips and brings about evil. The silver-haired head is a crown of glory, it, if it is found in the way of righteousness. He who is slow to anger is better than the mighty, and he who rules his spirit uh, than he who takes a city. The lot is cast into the lap, but its every decision is from the Lord. And the devotion is, numerous studies indicate the average person speaks between 5,000 and 20,000 words a day. Now that's a lot of talking. No wonder James authored the entire chapter of the Bible encouraging believers to use godly discretion when speaking. He said, quotes, No man can tame the tongue. It is an unruly evil, full of deadly poison, unquote. And you could read that in James 3.8. Just imagine how much conflict in your home would be eliminated if each family member chose their words more carefully. How many problems at work would disappear if every member of the office made a vow not to gossip or backbite? How much more power would our churches be infused with if believers shared the gospel more and repeated nonsensical hearsay less? According to Solomon, this should be our aim. The heart of the wise teaches his mouth and adds learning to his lips. Proverbs 16, 23. 
Scripture tells us to feast our hearts on the Bible so when our mouths open, profitable, helpful remarks will follow. Pleasant words are like a honeycomb, sweetness to the soul and health to the bones. That was in verse 24. Ask God to give you wise, edifying speech before you speak. Pray and think about the weight of your words and remember James' counsel. Let every man be swift to hear and slow to speak. And isn't that the truth, people? Um, if you're walking in the, in the Lord, if you're abiding in Christ, the more you read scripture, the more you read the word, um, the slower you are to anger, the more you understand the power that lies in the tongue. Many people have said, you know, I would rather take a slap in the face then hear those words flow from your lips because the words, you know, you can get over the slap. You know, once the sting of the slap leaves your cheek, it's gone. But the words leave scars in your heart and um, they destroy, you know, and... Um, very, very powerful, the, the words that we choose to use. And um, this is a very powerful um, message from Proverbs. It's something that we can all uh, learn from, you know. Even the most seasoned Christian can fall prey to their own tongue. It's something that we have to monitor all the time because of our corrupt flesh. There's always a tendency that would pull us towards reacting instead of thinking, uh, you know, and that's not a good thing. So um, it's going to be short today. I want to wish you a beautiful day in the Lord. And um, I want to remind you that I love you and Jesus loves you. Never forget how much Jesus loves you. Never forget it. He's coming very, very soon. People keep looking up.